here, not at all. Some woman left it at the church's daughter's bake sale last oh. week, and we couldn't leave it out, so we kept it. Well, good. We wouldn't want to be stealing from the church. No, dear, not at all. Mm -hmm. Help yourself, dear. Mm. You know what I heard at that bake sale. Oh dear, did it come from that Faye Hadley? Oh. She drives me up the wall, I tell you, with a little bob cut and those three messy children of hers oh. up the wall. So good. Another one came in this year. Did I tell you, a short chubby boy almost got sent to my office on the second day of school for stealing a girl's lunch money. She's having another one. <gasps> Faye Hadley, uh -huh. another one. She's probably only doing it for the gifts or the curves. Or both. <laughs> Honestly, I can't understand why you'd want to go through that young children's face mm -hmm. four times. Four times? Oh, Mother, she'll have plenty more after this one if she's as dumb as we think she is. Oh, yeah, probably a billion more. But my point still comes into play. Now, tell me, dear, what did you hear at that open house? Oh, oh yes, oh. tell me, is it juicy? Well, first, that George Denson is getting married, so he's off limits for you, Amber. George Denson? Amber? Really? His hair is so oily, and he never comes to church, and he's got that rock of son of his, and let me tell you, I see him walking home from, an, from whatever athletic rendezvous he goes to after church booklets out. Heaven forbid the gym. And, but, oh, Lord above, he's so sweaty. <laughs> Amber, Amber, dear, sweaty everywhere. I don't understand how a full grown man sweat so much. Isn't that just for teenage boys? He's a full grown adult. Uh, Ethel, according to our male health teacher, sweating everywhere is unfortunately not only for teenage boys. Oh, but George, I'm sure he's so kind. And he's probably a foot size, like. Eleven, and his voice is so dreamy, it's like a reincarnation of Jesus. Oh, hell no, it's not at all. What's your tongue, Telma? The magnificent Lord is always watching. Thank you for reminding me. Praise the Lord. Uh, ma'am, how religious are you? Very, dear. I go to church every weekend. God is the most important figure in my life. And I go to confession as often as I possibly can, too. Mm. Which could be any minute because she lives right next door. <laughs> when I was younger, I could never get enough sleep. The stupid bell would toll all the time. And when my friends came over, we would have to meet here. Heck, I had my first date in this very church. Oh. <laughs> and I see nothing's changed. We're gossiping in the same church. Gossiping in a church. And go watch how you talk about our pristine chapel. And we're not gossiping. We're simply talking. And, and do it if your mother is that respectful of his lord. Maybe she wants to meet here and, and we should respect our dedication. So who's he getting married to, Telma? George Denson. Oh, probably some insane woman, a maniac musician. <clears throat> Disrespectful to God and what he stands for. My goodness. No, actually. I heard he's marrying some rich girl from Florida. Her father owns a, a mini yacht, a golf organization, a cinnamon bun food chain, and two crocodiles. <laughs> I thought it was alligators in Florida, Telma. <laughs> uh, She's right, dear. You know, for a principal, you don't know too much. Did you know that one of my cats, I think Kitty, almost got her tail bitten off by an alligator? Clean off, clean off, I tell you. Luckily, it just snapped a few hairs off, barely even noticeable. Mm -hmm. I brought it to the vet to see if I could get the poor tail replaced, but he did find out that she had flu. Thanks to that doctor, Kitty is still with us today. Bless his soul. Oh, shush about your cats, mother. I want to hear about this lady. <clears throat> well, George Denson was showing uh, Devin Mullaney a picture of her, and I might have, just might have, interrupted their conversation with a lie about an assembly this weekend to sneak a look at it. <gasps> <laughs> oh, no, you did. <laughs> so now you got a look. 
look, and these two guys are gonna show up at the school all alone for no reason this weekend. <laughs> I thought you liked this man. I'm not right, Amber. Why would you wish such an annoyance on them? Oh no, Mother dear, you misunderstood. These men are showing up alone. <gasps> Guess we're showing up Saturday night. <laughs> you can do better than this. Already in God is frowning on you. Well then, Mother. You know, I don't even know what to say. You always go on and on about how people should be so ashamed about how they're acting. But let me tell you, Madam, you ain't so angelic either. You and all your going to church and keeping up with God. Underneath that sacred skin you've got there, you're just a little spawn of the devil, just like everyone else. Now, Amber, how dare you insult your mother that way? Why? It ain't nothing but the truth. Amber, that was incredibly unacceptable. Mother, I am my own woman now. I can be unacceptable on my own terms. I live in my own house. I go shopping by myself. I have a daughter. Oh, yeah. And your daughter will grow up to be stuffing tissues down the front of her shirt and spending a spare time in the back seat of a truck. Definitely not what I, no God, calls a woman. Take Georgia out of this. This is between you and me. Oh, shit, we're both so tipsy. It's probably between two insane seagulls. <laughs> that was a sin. I don't care what you say. You always grew up like this, and I'm tired of it how you're acting. Go on, tell her. Did not her. So, uh, this lady in this picture, it was like one of those fancy little edited pictures that you post, you know. So she's standing on a beach in this uh, tight little red dress, thin little straps, all that jazz, and she's holding her big straw hat, and she's smiling with these blinding white teeth. She's looking pretty schmancy, let me tell you. Oh, I hate this woman. Oh, stop it! I haven't even met her! Mother she could be a very nice, generous woman. Mm, mother, you wouldn't understand. You married Daddy and stayed with him till he died, but that was easy for you. You never had another thought now, did you? Well, who says I never had another thought? Uh, Ethel, you said so yesterday. <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> Oh, now, there I go, spoiling everything for myself. <laughs> yeah, what a surprise. You know, Amber, I said, you know, I was always disappointed when you were going up. Never was as true to the Lord as your father and I raised you to be. And I still am. You're not me. I'm old, you're young, and there's nothing I can do to change that. Disappointment. Such a big, true word. And I'm not lying, I am. And so is God. And your father's probably rolling over in his grave. You know, I put in so much work for you. I don't know where it all went. Right through. Just like those cucumber smoothies you got right through. And you know, disappointment hurts people. Like a knife. Or not going to church. And it's something that really leaves a mark on people. It changes the way people see something or someone. And once you experience it, it's with you forever. And you can't get rid of it. <clears throat> Where have I gone with it? Oh, now, I sound like one of those mean old Catholic women of the town that screams at little children. <laughs> and I really am so disappointed because... What did I do wrong? Was it me? Was it the Lord? Well, I assume it was God's plan. Oh, and George will grow up to be just like you, Amber. And who says that's a bad thing? Shh, 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 dear. Leave it be. I'm sorry. Tell my dear. Are you on my daughter's side now? Not necessarily. I beg your pardon. But, um, 
maybe with the way you've been treating her, she perhaps didn't trust you with little Georgia. Excuse me, I treat that child like a saint. Well, maybe that's the problem. You see, I've seen a lot of instances where spoiling can lead to certain behaviors, which when they come back aren't well received. You see, as a principal, I see a lot of that, and it's, it's nothing different for you. Did you just compare me to a child? In a not father's house at that, mama. May I tell you, Ethel, that actually, I was raised Jewish for your information. I you lied to me. Mother, I like her lots. She <laughs> likes George lots too. Oh, say goodbye to Mrs. Florida. There's a new woman in town. <laughs> oh, is that all, Telma? That's not much juicy gossip. I really wanted to squeeze it all out like making lemonade. Mom. Dear, that much gossip could be a sin. Mm. Says who? Says me! Says your house, says your wine, says your lipstick, says your pimps! Oh, is there any more wine inside? Ha! <laughs> Cost there is. <laughs> what kind of questions is there? Is there more wine? There's always more wine. <laughs> Drinking's a 